So if you're somebody that has ever struggled with feelings of insecurity about your size, today's video is for you. This is the video that I wish I had when I was younger and struggling with, actually not even younger. I've always struggled with feelings of insecurity about myself because of the fact that I'm not like a big dude. And even though a lot of the data says, oh, if you're between five inches and seven, like you're totally like average, it doesn't matter. I was six inches and I was still like insecure wildly about my size. Because when you really think about it, you know, size is a few different things. There's length, but there's also like thickness and girth. And for me, I was never like a really like thick dude. And this was something that I was always insecure about. Every time I'd be with a woman, I'd be insecure about, you know, whether or not she enjoyed it or if it was big enough or if she had boyfriends that were bigger than me. Like I was wildly insecure. And over the years, I've done a ton of videos on YouTube talking about how to make it bigger. Now, my earlier videos had some good information in them, but they weren't complete in my opinion because I hadn't tried some of the things that I have recently that have made the biggest difference, honestly. So this video is gonna be broken up into two parts. The first part, I'm gonna go over the options in terms of enhancement, all right? These are things that will actually make him physically bigger. But then the second part of this, I would also like to go over some natural options, supplements, not to mention some lifestyle modifications that will make whatever size Big Al you have hard as a rock. First option to make Big Al look longer is lengthening surgery. The way that it works is they will basically go in and cut the anchoring ligament that anchors Big Al to the pubic bone. What happens is that when they do this, he actually will hang and get a little bit longer. The downside to this is that it's surgery. The other downside is that your Big Al will never point like north again. He'll always kind of be like semi erect looking because he basically has lost that support from that ligament. Option number two is thickening surgery. The way that this one works is kind of crazy. They will actually harvest cadaver tissue, make an incision in your Big Al, and then wrap the tissue inside of your wiener, right, around those two like caverns or chambers that get filled with blood. They will wrap it with the cadaver tissue, and then they sew you back up and you're thicker. The downside to this is that satisfaction is very low in terms of people that have actually had this done. The next option to make it thicker is Restylane injections. Restylane is the same stuff that they're putting in like women's lips to plump them up and cheeks and stuff. They will actually inject it into your wiener to make it thicker. Another option is fat injections where they will actually harvest your body fat from your body right through lipo and then inject it into your wiener. The downside to the fat injections is that a lot of people that have had this done report like hard, like lumpy, irregular shaped like owls, which is definitely not going to be sexy and attractive. The next option to make them thicker is called a panuma. All right, it's actually a silicon sleeve that was developed where they insert it once again underneath of the skin over top of those two cavernous chambers and it is going to be thicker. The reports in terms of satisfaction with the Panuma is high. A lot of people that get them actually enjoy them. The downside is the cost between like sixteen and twenty thousand dollars. The next option in terms of length is extenders. Extenders are basically like a contraption that you wear on your wiener for like seven hours a day. And over time, it's supposed to lengthen. Now, the downside is that it doesn't do anything for thickness. It also has been reported to have a lot of issues in terms of tearing and damaging. The next option is what is called gel queen. All right, now gel queen is kind of like you're like milking and stretching your wiener. You get them like semi like ready and then you basically are pulling and stretching blood into them, all right? There's a technique to it. Um, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be too aggressive or you could potentially tear or damage yourself. You gotta remember, the anatomy of your wiener basically has like two big cavernous chambers that are like sponges that fill with blood when you get hard, right? Over time, by pulling more blood into the chambers, they're gonna stretch out and get larger. The more blood that fills the chamber, obviously, your big owl is gonna get a lot bigger. And that is oftentimes combined with some type of pump, um, which is, the next and final way to actually make it bigger, and the reason why I saved this one for last is because I've used this. I've used this now for months. I love this product. It has literally changed my life, and if you're somebody that struggles with feelings of inadequacy or insecurity, or you just want a bigger wiener, this thing will do it. Could you notice the difference? Absolutely, yes. Good difference? Yeah, it's bigger. It's definitely bigger. Yeah? It is. It's crazy, isn't it? it is. What would you say is the biggest difference that you noticed? Um, it's girthier. Girthier? It's got girth. And when I told you that I was going to do it, what did you say? I was skeptical. I was like, oh, come on. You also said I didn't need it. And I also said you didn't need it, but 
Now that I did it. Yeah, it's definitely, I can definitely absolutely tell a difference. All right, honey, it's been 60 days. What do you think of uh, what happened? Uh, it's crazy. It is bigger. Like significantly? Yeah, like significantly bigger. It, uh, it works. It works. It works. It works like crazy. Yeah. Is it too big? No. Is it good? It's perfect. I thought I thought I was perfect before. 90 days of pumping in the books. What do you think? It's uh it's bigger and it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So what are the biggest differences that you've noticed since I started using this pump? Um girth and like thickness as well as length. Wait, have you been enjoying it? Yes. A lot? A lot. On a scale of one to ten. Twelve. <laughs> I thought you said I was good before. Guys, I'm gonna link down below to all three of the videos that I did talking about this. I did basically a 30 day, 60 day, and 90 day video in terms of what happened to my body and some warnings. Because the one thing you need to understand, this pump is not a toy. You can hurt yourself, you gotta take it easy, all right? It is a serious product. I'm also gonna have down below a link to my Bathmate landing page, all right? They are gonna give you an amazing discount. Now, when you hit that page, you're gonna see three different options. I tried and tested all three of the products, all right? You've got the Bathmate Hydro. This was the first one they came out with. They've got the Hydro Max. The big difference between the Hydro and the Hydro Max, it's better suction, right? But if you're serious about doing this, don't even mess around with those two. Go with the Hydro Extreme. It comes with this little ball, and the amount of pressure and suction that you get from this product is unbelievable. I tried all three. Guys, this is the one that you want. Spend the money. It is a game changer in terms of the way that this thing works. Now, in terms of how it works, guys, I'm not going to go into all of the details. I've done, like I said, a bunch of other videos talking about it. But bottom line is this. When you use this product, what happens is you are forcing or pulling more blood into your wiener. It's stretching everything out. Over time, by consistently doing this, you are gonna be able to stretch out those caverns and more blood is going to flow into your wiener. Now. What happened? What were the results? In terms of the benefits that I saw from using this, um, unbelievable. I gained about an inch in terms of length. I'm over seven now. And in terms of like circumference or thickness, that was the thing that I noticed the biggest difference, right? I gained over an inch and like a half of thickness over the course of the past like a hundred and like, call it 50 days, right? It is substantial, like literally from here to like here. It's like big. It honestly, I joke with my wife, it's kind of like I've got somebody else's wiener now because literally like when I look down, when I hold it, it's bigger, it's heavier. The other thing that I love so much is that my like heart, like the hardness is like better than ever. It also has helped me last longer, like significantly longer. So basically it's made me longer, it's made me thicker, it's made me harder and it's also allowed me to last longer in bed. These things, think of it like working out, right? Now, in terms of how many times a week I would use it, when I was starting, I was using it like three to four times a week. Now, I'm only using it about twice a week. It's kind of like maintenance, right? Because if you use it consistently, you're gonna get gains. Now, if you completely stop, you're gonna keep about 50 to 75% of your gains that you got from using it. But if you just use it once or twice a week, you're gonna keep literally like 90% of the gains that you got. But if you use it twice a week, literally you're gonna keep like 95% of your gains. And honestly, it's just kind of fun, if I'm being honest, to use. I enjoy it. I look forward to using my pump and seeing how big I can get because it's actually got a little like ruler on it. And when you're using it, you're pumping. It's honestly unbelievable. Anyway, gentlemen, this product is unbelievable. Like I said, I wish I found it sooner, honestly, because I have been super insecure for the majority of my life. And I'm not even like super small. I was technically average, but I wasn't happy with that. I wish I was bigger. And that's one of the other downsides of watching like the movies is that everybody you see is hung like a mythical beast. Now, so am I. Gentlemen, anyway, bottom line, down below, I've got a link to all three of the videos that I did. The one video I'd probably start with is the warning video that basically talks about how to use it, how not to use it, and just some precautions. Because like I said, this is not a toy. And if you're interested, there's also that link down below to Bathmate, it's my custom landing page where they're gonna give you a discount on whichever model you select. In my opinion, the only model you should go with is the Hydro Extreme. Like I said, I've tried all three of them and this is the one that works the best. Oh, wait a second, I almost forgot. Bathmate gives you a 60-day money-back guarantee. 
So it's literally like a huge, big Al no-brainer. Guys, you get it, you try it, you don't love it, send it back, get your money back, are you kidding me? You're not gonna send it back though. <laughs> because it works. Proof of that is my before and after picture. Do you wanna see it? I'm kidding. That would be weird. I can't show you that. Anyway, gentlemen, bathmate, unbelievable. Bathmate, thank you. You have literally changed my life. Next up, gentlemen, what I wanna do is talk about some other ways for you to make whichever size wiener you have the best it can be. Tip number one is lose body fat, all right? Bottom line, if you're somebody that's carrying extra fat down in the pubic region, guys, you're basically not gonna see as much of your wiener as you possibly could because the fat pushes out and you're only exposed in an itty bitty teeny weenie, right? You lose body fat, boom. He gets big, strong, and sexy. The next thing, don't smoke. Smoking is one of the worst things you can possibly do for circulation, not to mention your wiener being big, strong, and sexy, all right? Nicotine is a vasoconstrictor, right? Which means it's gonna constrict all the blood vessels. It's gonna constrict all the vasio action you got going into Big Al. And so if you're somebody that wants to get him big, you gotta make sure you stop smoking. Something else that actually will make him harder is L-arginine and L-citrulline. Blood flow, it's all about the blood flow, gentlemen. The more blood that flows into Big Al, the better, bigger, harder he actually will become. All right, something that's helped me is L-arginine. All right, L-arginine and L-citrulline are two amino acids that your body converts to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. And the thing I love so much about L-arginine and L-citrulline is that they're natural. They're amino acids that basically are precursors to nitric oxide, which dilates everything big and strong. Something else you can do is reduce the amount of alcohol you're consuming, all right? Alcohol is one of those things that prevents everything from firing properly, all right? Whiskey weaning, you've heard about that, right? Maybe you've experienced it, right? You drink too much and you're like, yo, baby, and she's like, oh my God, right? If you want your big Al to be rock solid, stop drinking. The next tip to make him better, bigger, stronger, amazing is clean up your diet. If you're eating a diet that's high in crap shit, right? You're not gonna be healthy, but your big Al isn't gonna be as strong or as solid. All right, the cleaner you eat, lean proteins, healthy vegetables, good fats, right? These are the things that your body needs in order for them to be big and strong. Something else that he needs is vitamin D. Vitamin D is one of the most amazing supplements for not only your body, but your big Al's health, all right? Magnesium also is something that is definitely gonna be beneficial, not only for your body, but for big Al being strong, not to mention testosterone production. And that's kind of the next thing. If you've got low testosterone, guys, your wiener is not going to function as well as you possibly can. You gotta make sure you go get it checked if you're not sure, or you do the things naturally that you can in order to boost it and build it, which include working out with weights, lift weights, cardio, do it. Both of those things are not only going to help facilitate free testosterone production and release from your body, but the cardiovascular exercise is gonna get the blood flowing and help circulation. Remember, circulation equals bigger wiener. Two other tips I'd like to give you before I leave. Number one is reduce the amount of the movies that you're watching. If you're somebody that is struggling with feelings of inadequacy or insecurity, watching a lot of the movies and seeing these mythical hung beasts is definitely not helping. The second thing, if you are somebody that truly is having an issue dealing with yourself or feeling super insecure, you may also wanna combine some of the things we talked about with therapy because therapy is gonna help you deal with the issues you got going on and hopefully help you get over your insecurity. But bottom line is this, does it work? Can you do it? Can you make him bigger? The answer is... What would you recommend to guys out there that are insecure about the size? Just give it a try. Yeah. Give it a try. I mean, um, it, it, it works. So it works. If, if you know you can do something, right. if it's something you're insecure about, yep. do something. Exactly. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. You love it? Say it again. I love it. You love it? Dad, I love it. Am I the king? I'm the king.